tonight, Father's Day Blues. I am heartbroken. I just can't believe what happens to people, what is done to them, in the name of the law. The heartbreak of being a part-time dad. You only have to open your eyes to see what I call the sad dads on Sunday syndrome. At the heart of the law is a grotesque injustice. Are our family laws weighted against men? We have had cases where children are writing these horrendous emails to fathers saying, why don't you want to see me anymore? It's heartbreaking and it shouldn't be happening. <laughs> It's never an easy decision. But for outraged fathers across the land, this case proves what they've been saying all along. The law is against us. Women are all angels, men are all ogres. By definition of Lord Justice Thorpe's interpretation of this gender neutral law. Although there's certain checklists that the court is supposed to go through, they only seem to be paying lip service to those and wrong decisions are being made. The parents had been married for several years. The father worked in the boat trade, the mother was a city high flyer. But when it came to raising the children, it was a classic case of role reversal. Dad became a house husband and looked after the children. Mum carried on working. When the marriage hit difficulties, the issue of custody ended up in court. Mr Justice Thorpe decided that the father would lose out. He upheld an earlier ruling giving custody to the mother. The father was devastated. He just completely looked at the father in a way that, well, you're really superfluous to this child's needs. Now, that isn't right. And a lot of us felt that this was the sounding block, the springboard for us to speak out and say, enough is enough. We have to have a balancing act more properly in these cases. Was there one point when you thought that there is something wrong with this process? Oh, uh, uh, day one, when I said, when I was handed a piece of paper saying, you may see your children on this day and every second weekend. Why? What had I done? I saw them every day. I took them to school. I bathed them. I fed them. I cooked for them. I read their stories. I cuddled them before going to bed. I listened to them in sleep. Why now was the state and all its instruments of justice, but in this case I thought discrimination, why were they all aimed at me? We have had cases where tragically, and we see them as practitioners, where children are writing these horrendous emails to fathers saying, why don't you want to see me? Anymore?